All right, so we're gonna start going through the systems in this water lodge. We know we have some massive air leaks to look at and some other issues. Yeah, very large air leak. Okay, let's get a flashlight under there. Flashlight or no? Yeah. Oof, you gotta get out of the way here. Somewhere. I can't get it to air up over 80 psi from the bus compressor. <laughs> Shouldn't be that hard to find that leak. <laughs> Seal leak there, and the drive axle on the other side is leaking too. Man, on Friday we just settled the insurance claim for the lightning strike that hit the building and took out all of our solar. And then Saturday we had thunderstorm roll through and a complete, just a near miss, 50 feet from the building, a lightning strike. You can see it right behind my Volkswagen thing here. This is the same strike, just multiple times here, but it was such a close call. And uh, the day after we settled the insurance claim, that's crazy. Um, so. We got the lightning rods ready to go up, but we haven't installed them yet. But I'm definitely going to get the lightning rods up on the building before we hook up the new solar. 
Jonathan's getting ready to replace some, add some shims in the kingpins on here to get rid of the play. There's a little dust guard on the back that's got what, like six bolts all in on? Uh, it's two, two halves. Three for the bottom, three for the top. Yep. Clean that out and see how it looks. Is the kingpin still in there? Yeah. It's just hanging out at the bottom. Um, um, yeah, the kingpin itself looks really good too. I'll just adding some shims in there. It's already got one in, he's trying to get a second one. Yeah, I think he's gonna go in. Is he pushing the other one out or no? Doesn't look like it. Yep, you got it. So we're just doing an inspection on the bearings here. The bearings all looked good, there was no sparkle in the oil uh, and we're gonna re just replace the wheel seals on everywhere. We, two, two of the wheel seals on the bus were already leaking. So we're just replacing them all and then that way we can get into the bearings and check everything out. Spindle looks good. No issues going on there. The wiper looks good and in the back. The brakes look great. So just preventative maintenance here with the seals and then oil change and bearing inspection and adjusting the bearings. Two lug nuts on this wheel that don't want to come off. With the big one inch impact gun, brand new fully charged battery. So we're gonna get the torque multiplier out and get them off. And it sucks when stuff fights you like that. We will be replacing the hydraulic fan motor on here. In order to do that, we're gonna pull out the radiator. So that's gotta come out of there. This one on Wonder Lodge, the uh, tag axle is basically the same spindle and hub as the drive axle. So it's much larger. How's the oil look? Clean? No sparkles? It doesn't look sparkly from here. No. Good. So we'll just have to get the big four inch socket there and then that'll come off of there. Couldn't get the brake drum to come off of the hub. We're gonna pull the whole thing as one and then get them separated. It's probably, may have never been off in 40 years, 35 years. How well, this, this one's a little bit younger than the others. See that little lock, that little lock pin you gotta take out with the Allen wrench before you can turn the socket on these. Not all axles have that. Pretty cool. Just a tiny bit. Good. Nice. You're going to take it off and we'll pull the whole thing, but that's good that the preload was properly adjusted on there. Catch on something? the socket out if you need to. I don't want to tear your hands up. So 
Super easy to turn with the ratchet, but can't turn it with your fingers. Look good. That's it. Clean it up, but overall it looks pretty good. Hang on, let me get a rag for my hand. Come down. Now oh, we gotta come forward more. Can we clear the spindle? Coming down. I'll come forward and just roll it under that thing there. Don't have your feet anywhere near it. There it goes. I'm curious about the bungee cord holding the leveler up because if those two giant springs aren't doing it, I don't think the bungee cord's going to do any good. <laughs> Seems sort of crazy. See that you can see that wheel seal's been leaking by just the discoloration on the brake drum there, all the oil coming onto it. Started? This is the part, the old one, they just replaced that with a new part and they questioned that the old one had a pipe plug in it here and the new one didn't. So they put the new one on without the pipe plug and that's where all the air was shooting out of. So we removed the pipe plug from the old one and transferred it over to the new one and now it no longer just ejects air out of that hole. That's, we couldn't build over 80 PSI on the air system with that. You could never get the suspension all the way up, and I don't even know I'm sure how they drove it with that air fitting off. That's a massive air leak. Yeah, that's just two outputs for the same thing. They, they actually connect if you look through there. I stuck my screwdriver down through there. You can see the light coming through. Um, yeah, so you just had two possible places it can come out of, depending if you needed to go 90 degrees to the left or straight up. Starting to get some oil on the brakes in there. Well, we can see, them. see all the grease. You alright? Yeah, I think I'm really fine. Oh, shit. Yeah. 
Okay, so we've had this bus in here now for about a day and a half. This is the one that we worked on the water pump on that got towed here because it had the loose water pump on it. We finally were able to get it in the shop now uh, to start going through everything. So mostly just safety things, uh, air leaks, checking the brakes, hubs, all that kind of stuff. But, uh, yeah, it had several, it had three leaky wheel seals actually once we got into it here. And we still don't have that wheel all the way off yet. Um, we're working on it. But uh, yeah, we're about a day and a half into it and gonna be the 4th of July holiday tomorrow, so we'll take a day off. That bus we're just waiting on parts for st still. Got a cool e-bike I'll be doing a video of probably later this week. But, uh, air two airbags came in for this one today, two more. We got the tag ones on the other day, but two of the drive ones came in, we're still waiting on two more, so. Just catching up. Hopefully we'll have another video. Maybe we'll get one tomorrow for the 4th too. From a mile away, you can hear them play as they climb that hill with ease. At the top of that mountain, there's a new life waiting for those who can make the run. If they can make it to the top, Scott will put them in the shop till their new life has begun. Bus Grease Mountain, where the buses come to run. We're gonna get that big job done 